What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with some cool tech under $100 for October. The series we show off some of the best tech you can buy under that price point. Typically we do cool tech under $50, but I figure this month we'll step it up a bit, kind of, you know, broaden that price point. And here we're gonna have it sort of themed for like gaming and streaming gear. So hope you guys dig it. If you see anything you like, I will have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. And first off are gonna be a pair of really great open back headphones from Audio-Technica. I am loving these things. These are the AD500X, and they're audiophile open back headphones, or as Audio-Technica calls them, open air. So you can see the 53 millimeter drivers inside are exposed here. I've always been more a fan of open back headphones just because the sound stage I feel like is so much more wide and open, especially for gaming. It's like you're actually in the middle of the battlefield. I've used that analogy a hundred times, but it really does kind of like open the world of the game you're playing in. And that does mean yes, because they're open back, you're going to be able to hear people around you and stuff like that. And they're also going to be able to hear your music or your audio, but they're really not going to hear it unless you're cranking it like all the way to hundred percent. And one of the things about these in particular is they have this 3D sort of wing support for the headband or lack thereof in this sense, because when you put them on, it really doesn't feel like there's anything even on your head. The weight distribution is really, really nice. And since there is no actual headband touching the top of your head, these little support pads really do a good job of kind of eliminating any sort of tension or pressure on your ears. So for long gaming sessions, you're not gonna have to worry about comfort at all because they are very comfortable. Which is the biggest thing about these is just the sound quality. I'm loving the sound out of these open back cans. Typically with open back headphones, you tend to lose a lot of the bass and some of the, the higher end frequencies just because the audio is being you know, dispersed outward. But here, the highs, the trebles are all crystal clear. You still get a really nice amount of bass. There's a good thump to it. So I love open back headphones. I set it five times and I'm really impressed with these and they're only $75. So if you're playing a lot of open world games or FPS, you're definitely gonna wanna try these out. It's a really great experience. Next up is a brand new desktop microphone from Blue. This is the Yeti Nano. Blue Microphones is a very popular company for putting out desktop and streaming mics. And this is their newest release. It's essentially the Yeti, but in a much smaller compact form factor, so it's not gonna be taking up much room on your desk. So streamers who wanna kind of eliminate that desktop clutter can definitely appreciate this. Even though it's a smaller size, you're not losing any of the functionality here. On the front, you have a volume knob because you can put in headphones directly into the bottom of this and monitor your audio. So you can you know, control the volume from here. You press it in to mute your mic as well. And on the back side here is a button for changing up the, uh, the pickup pattern from cardioid to omnidirectional. I'll do a mic test in a minute. And then on the bottom, uh, like I said before, you have your headphone jack plus the uh, micro USB port for plugging this into your PC to transmit the audio. And if you want to put this on like a boom arm you already have, you can detach this from the stand. There's a little thread there on the bottom so you can have it on a boom arm. Let's check out how it sounds. All right, so this is the mic test for the Blue Yeti Nano. And from what I've heard, I think it sounds really, really good. And just a quick note, this is in the uh, cardioid style currently, and I am talking into the front of the mic here. So it's designed so you can talk into this side where the headphone uh, volume dial is here on the front. So I'm gonna switch it now to omnidirectional and you should hear a pretty big difference because it's gonna be picking up you know more sound now and what I'm gonna do real quick is just start typing on my keyboard so you could gauge how much it's picking up from behind and then real quick I'm gonna switch it again and then hopefully you can tell a difference of the background noise that it does eliminate in the cardioid style so I would definitely use this in cardioid and you know I think it sounds pretty good overall and this is completely all raw unedited audio so I'm really impressed with the mic quality here, especially in that cardioid setting. And again, if you even wanted to do some, you know, minor post work, you could use this for like, you know, voiceovers on a YouTube channel. But for streaming, it's gonna be more than fine for your audience. And again, much smaller compact form factor, keeping your desktop nice and clean. And this comes in at exactly $100. Next up for all you RGB lovers out there, this one's gonna be for your PC. This is the brand new Hue 2 from NZXT. You're probably very familiar with their, you know, the Hue Plus and stuff like that, giving your PC that crazy RGB glow on the inside. But now they've expanded their product line to the Hue 2, which is gonna give us a few more products like PC underglow and an ambient lighting kit for the back of your monitors. I will say the three M adhesive on the back of the light strips are just terrible. They keep falling off. So make sure you have some tape on hand just to kind of put over it to secure the strips. 
and setup is pretty simple. It's the same steps to installing like a Hue Plus if you use that in the past. Again, this is really meant to tie your setups, you know, kind of look all together. Plus you have a certain color theme and stuff going on. It's all about aesthetic these days. So for the Underglow kit, it's only $35 and it does exactly what you'd expect it to do. It's these two light bars you put underneath your PC. That's gonna give it some really nice shine and glow, uh, kind of reflecting off your desktop. With the cam software, you can go in and customize it all from different effects to just static colors. But I mean, you get the idea with this, you know what Underglow is. Before the Hue 2 Ambient Kit, this is $100. These are light strips that go on the back of your monitor to throw some light and color onto your wall. Just for reference, I'm gonna show you guys a lot of the RGB lighting effects and stuff, but you've seen it all before. And while the Hue 2 Ambient Kit is $100, it's all about aesthetics. It's gonna give you a lot more control over some cheaper you know, RGB light strips that I have and I've used in the past. From literally addressing each individual lighting strip to customizing your effects, you can have like smart effects to like reflect the temperature of your PC. You can have it be an audio visualizer, match the colors to what's going on in your game. And even some games have it integrated like CSGO where it reflects your health. Just a cool new product, very relevant to the channel. Again, the Underglow kit is 35 bucks and the Hue 2 Ambient is $100. Next up, going along with the headphones you first showed off, it's gonna be this Amp and DAC from Sound Blaster. This is called the Omni Surround. And I think Amp and DACs like this are essential for any sort of desktop setting. It's gonna act as a hub for all your audio needs, whether it's, you know, a microphone, headphones, optical, all that stuff. And it lets you control the volume right at an arm's reach with the volume dial. Once you plug it in, it'll let you know it's powered up by this little red light strip up top. And say you want to plug in something besides headphones, like maybe a sound bar or some speakers, you have the option, because like I said before, on the back, you have your optical out, your left and right channels, plus a rear and a sub port if you want to just connect those things and have a full audio setup, all controlled from this. And if you're someone who's always been plugging in your headphones just to like your stock sound card and your motherboard, this is going to make everything sound 10 times better. I would say overall you get about like a 15 to 20% volume boost. So you can really push some headphones. And I've been using an amp and DAC on my desk. That's around 400 bucks. This is only $69. Doesn't really have all the features, but it sounds pretty damn close, which is really impressive. If you want to download and use their creative software, there's stuff where you can go in and enable the emulator 5.1 surround sound, certain EQs, and there's also an embedded mic. All right, this is the mic test for the built-in mic on the Sound Blaster. Uh, not the best. It'll be okay if you're just like taking quick calls on like Skype or something like that. It does sound kind of distant, so the closer it gets to your mouth, uh, the better it's probably going to sound, but I wouldn't use this as a mic. So kind of like a two-in-one here, but like I said, I wouldn't exactly want to use that mic, but if you need to for something, it's not going to be an issue. But just the sound quality you're getting out of this is really good for that $69 price point, and there's just nothing better than having the control of your audio right at an arm's reach with the volume dial. And then last but not least, definitely an essential product for streamers is going to be the Elgato Stream Deck Mini. Did a review of this and I absolutely love these things. With this, you get unlimited macros, shortcuts, key bindings, whatever really you can think of, you can tie to the Stream Deck Mini because each key has unlimited functionality. There are these tiny LCD screens behind each of the keys so you can change it up and have a graphic or a picture represent that. We now have GIF support and I've done a full review on this. Absolutely essential for streamers, I think, or really pretty much anyone who's constantly doing things at their desktop, whether it's productivity, video editing, photo editing, anything like that. It's just really cool to have it customized to your liking. So while you're streaming, you can press a button to change scenes or bring up a certain GIF or a graphic, anything like that. Definitely would recommend this. This is coming in right now at just around $95. So streamers, gamers, editors, anybody out there could definitely take advantage of the Stream Deck Mini, I think. One of my favorite products of the past year or so from Elgato. And guys, that'll wrap it up for this episode of Cool Tech Under $100 for October. Hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I will have all the products listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. If you liked the episode, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to comment down below your favorite product and tell me why you like it. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.